Did you know that solar panels were invented back in the 1800s? <laughs> I didn't until this morning, actually. Now, there's a reason why I was looking into that, and I'll tell you that here in just a second, but those solar panels had an efficiency of about one to 2%. So that meant that about one or 2% of the photons that come from the sun and hit the solar panels actually get converted into electricity. But today's panels are about 10 to 20%. So we have much more efficient panels today. However, what I wanted to talk about today is that I see all the time people saying solar panels are going to be no good after 10 years. Or you buy a set of solar panels today that they degrade so badly that within 10 years they'll be no good. So I want to talk about that today and I'm going to tell you what my solar panels are doing today 14 years after I installed them. So have they lost 7% of their efficiency because manufacturers say that their solar panels lose about a half a percent of efficiency per year. So that means that in 14 years, I should have lost about 7%. So if I've lost 7%, that means that my panels today should only be producing about 93% of their total rated output. Are they? I'm going to show you here in just a second. But before I do, Let's talk about what the engineers say. The engineers say panels don't really lose a half a percent per year. That's a manufacturer's thing probably to protect themselves from lawsuits or something like that. They say it's only about a tenth of a percent. So in 10 years, you lose 1%. In 14 years, you'd lose 1.4%, which means you'd be at 98.6% of the rated output they claimed originally. Well, my neighbor put in panels in 1979. And yes, folks, believe it or not, solar panels have been around that long. In fact, solar panels were actually invented in the 1800s. I was surprised to learn that myself because I thought, come on, really? Holy cow. But it, it kind of makes sense. Tesla, Edison, all those guys were doing these things. And I've forgotten the name of the guy who invented solar panels originally back in Europe. Obviously, those panels weren't very good. They had like a 1% to 2% efficiency rate. And today, ours are between 10 and 20%. That means that our panels today are, are converting about 10 to 20% of the sunlight they get that hits them into electricity. Obviously, if we could make that a lot better, hey, that'd be great. But that's still a considerable jump from the original 1% or 2%. So do solar panels lose their efficiency the way people say? I see it online all the time. Well, those solar panels are going to lose their efficiency after 10 years. They're going to be no good in 15 years or 20 years or whatever. But is that the truth? I mean, my neighbor's panels... Well, 1979 makes them 45 years old. And guess what? He's still using them. 45 years. What does that tell you? My panels are 14 years old, the ones that are on the ground. So what are they doing? Well, first of all, let me tell you that I think in this modern world of ours, people get too much analysis paralysis. I think you have a combination of things. One, you have people that Quite frankly, they read things and then they just assume that's true. And they're what I would call the glasses half empty people. Well, there's no point in doing it because it's not going to last. <laughs> Whatever, right? I mean, your car's not going to last either, but you drive one. You're going to need a new cell phone eventually, but you've got one now. So number one, I would tell somebody if they're worried about the efficiency of their solar panels lowering and, and the panels not producing as much power 10 or 20 or 30 years down the road, I'd say, well, first of all, you can always add more. Build your system for what you need today. And that generally means you overbuild a little bit. Put in extra batteries. Put in extra solar panels. Trust me, you will... You will thank me later if you do that. If you're looking to build a system today, don't build the minimum unless you understand that you're going to want to add to it later. And since solar panels change, you'll, you'll add a whole new array. You won't just add one more panel, right? You don't, don't do what I did. I bought three solar panels and said, well, maybe next year I'll get three more. Well, next year you couldn't buy those solar panels. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, that's number one. Don't be a glass half empty person. Don't be that pessimist. Believe it or not, people have solar panels that have been running for decades that still work perfectly fine. But what about mine? 14 years. 14 years, where are they at? Well, guess what? My solar panels are three 205 watt panels. Those panels should be producing 615 watts. Well, in a previous video, when I put in my Bateria charge controller, I was getting about 350 to 450 watts. And I'll be honest with you, I've seen enough of those pessimistic posts about solar panels that I thought, well, maybe they're really not producing that much today compared to what they were 
14 years ago. Drop down in the comments. Don't go to the end of this video yet. Drop down in the comments and let me know what you think. Was I seeing a degraded solar array that needed to be replaced? Do I need to replace my solar panels? Or was the sun just not perfectly hitting the panels? Or was it maybe a little cloudy, a little hazy, a little warm? What do you think it was? Drop down in the comments and let me know what you think. Now the next thing I'm going to tell you is that solar panels are actually rated at 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And it is known within the industry that to get more out of your solar panels, you would only typically see that below that 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Meaning that as it gets colder out, you actually can produce more solar power than when it's hotter out. If panels are tested at 77 degrees Fahrenheit, and you go out there and you get them all hooked up and it's 32 degrees Fahrenheit out and it's a super clear day, you can absolutely get more power than your panels are rated at. So if you've got 615 watts of solar and it's 33 degrees out or 32 degrees out, well guess what? You could easily get more than 615 watts out of those panels. That is actually why when you put in a charge controller, you wanna make sure that your charge controller can take about 25% more than your panels are rated to produce. It's because typically you're not gonna see more than a 25% increase in overall production due to cold weather. And then you're getting into some pretty extreme cold. So what have I seen? Well, I can tell you that I was at the cabin recently, um, a week ago, and <laughs> we were working on the back room, doing some work on the back door, getting things tidied up a little bit, did some work on the outhouse, all that kind of stuff. And out of curiosity, I decided, to pull up my app. And the first thing I noticed was something that I never paid attention to before. And I think that if you're using these modern apps where you can look and see what your solar panels are doing, you're gonna fall for things. And this is one of them. That you'll see your power on your solar panels going up and down because your sunlight's not always perfectly steady. If you've got perfectly steady sunlight, then yeah, you should get a pretty steady amount of wattage out of your panels. But if you've got a little wisp of cloud here and there, you got anything that can possibly give a little shading, the angle of the sun's not exactly perfect on, et cetera, et cetera, things are going to change. And I noticed that when watching my charge controllers in the past, as well as today, you'll see that. But now with these apps that you can get, well, you're gonna see it in real time. And, and it might, you might look at it with some concern. Oh, look, 600, oh, 450, 500 watts, right? I would say don't, don't do that because you're gonna get analysis paralysis. Put your system in and walk away. Once you know that it's all working correctly, walk away. Keep your hands off the solar. <laughs> or the power system or whatever. Because I think a lot of times people get so busy trying to figure out their, why is my power doing something? Just walk away. Because if you built your system right, you could be like me 14 years later and, and looking at it and thinking, I really don't care. Make the power so I can use it, move on. However, that's not what this video is about. This video is about solar panel efficiency and whether or not it, de it degrades over time. Here's the truth I can tell you from my system. After 14 years, <laughs> on the last Sunday I was up there, it was a week and a half ago, temperature was about 70 to 75 degrees. It was midday. Sun was probably hitting the panels about as perfectly as you could, but it was slightly below that 77 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe about 72 to 75. So we're not talking a big difference. And my panels were putting out 107.6% of rated wattage. 662 watts coming out of the panels that are rated at 615 watts. So for all those people out there saying that after 10 years, your solar panels aren't gonna be any good, well, I call BS. Mine are 14 years old and they're actually producing more power at midday on a fall day that's almost up to that 77 degrees, pretty close to it. I'm not talking 32 here. And they're producing almost 108% of rated power after 14 years. And my neighbor's panels that are over 45 years old, guess what? They're still producing the power that they're supposed to produce or pretty dang close to it. So can maybe cheap solar panels lose their efficiency at a higher rate than maybe more expensive ones? Maybe, but mine weren't the most expensive panels. I bought non-UL listed panels. So I got them from Sun Elect and I mean, they were a name brand of one sort of an or another, but I wouldn't say they were the most expensive panels out there. Far from it. 
and I'm getting 662 watts. That's the peak that I've seen, that I saw on that day, out of an array that's rated at 615. It's 108% essentially of their rated production. Have you got that experience? A, has someone told you that solar panels won't be any good after 10 or 15 years? B, do you have older solar panels and have you noticed they're degrading and, and you're not getting that much power out of them? Or like me, have you noticed you're getting the power that you should be getting out of them? And actually, in my case, then some. Let me know what you think. And if you like this content, folks, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when the next video comes out. I really do appreciate your being here. And I'm gonna drop another video right here for you to check out. Y'all have a great day. Your old jar head out.